Welcome to my YouTube channel. So let's consider this question. So we have a semicircle and we have what? Two triangles. Now the area of the green triangle is eight and the area of the yellow triangle is 32. We are supposed to find the area of the semicircle. Could you figure out the solution? Just pause the video and give it a try. So let us consider the solution. So now we all, we all know that the area of a triangle is what? Half the base times what? The height. So for the green triangle, we can represent the base by what? X, the height by what? H. And also for the yellow triangle, we can represent the base by what? Y. Now we can see that both triangles share the what? the same what height so from here the area of a of the green triangle is what half base times height x times y h and, and we are going to get we already know the area of the green triangle to be h so we are going to get half x times what h let's consider the yellow, yellow triangle for the yellow triangle the area is what half what base times what height notice that the base of the yellow triangle is y. So we are going to get what? Half uh, y h times what? Which is equal to what? 32. Now we can see that we have 8 and 32. So from here, we can divide both sides. Since they have the same height, we, we can divide, uh, we, we can find the ratio of the two triangles. That is what? The yellow and the and the, green, and the green triangle. So they have the same height. So when you divide through, we are going to get what? Uh, X divided by Y is equal to one over four. Mind that this is the ratio of, of the size, not the length of the size. So from here, we are supposed to find the, the, the length of the abysses, right? So from here, we can, from here, we can represent it by what? A, a, a letter, that is A. So from here, we can see that A over 4A, we can have what A over 4A, right? Because one over four is just the ratio, but we don't know the actual length. So now from here, we can see that here is what? A and the, the base of the yellow triangle is also what? 4A. Right, so now we are going to find the actual basis. And from here, by reusing, uh, by reusing intersecting of chord, we are going to get what? This a four A multiplied by A is equal to what? H, H square. So we are supposed to find what? H in terms of what? A. So we are going to get H square is equal to four A square then we are going to get h is equal to 2a. Now we got every terms, everything in terms of a. So we can take any of the triangles, then we should be able to find a, and from there we will get the actual basis, then we can find what the area of what the semicircle. So now we have the height to be 2a, uh, the base of the green triangle to be a, the base of the yellow triangle to what, 4A. Now, from here, we can use any of the triangles. So let's use the smaller triangle. So we are going to get half the base. That the base is what, A, and the height is what, 2A. So we are going to get half 2A squared is equal to eight. Uh, two will cancel itself. Then we get, we got A is equal to, A squared is equal to eight. Similarly, when you consider the, bigger triangle, that is the yellow triangle, you are going to get the same thing, the same value for A. Now, what is the area of the semicircle? 
is pi divided by two times the, the radius square. Now from here, we can see that the radius will be what? A plus four A divided by two. A plus four A divided by two, we are going to get five A over two. So from here, uh, we, are, we can get the area of the semicircle pi divided by two into brackets uh, R uh, or, or that is the radius and it's five A over two all square. Now we already know that A square is eight. So from here we can, we can put, we can substitute A here and, and, and from there we are going to get 25A times A, eight divided by four, right? Then we are going to get 200 divided by eight pi. And the final answer is what? 25 pi. So the area of the semicircle is 25 pi. I hope you got it correct. You can always subscribe to my YouTube channel for more educative video. Bye for now.